Hey, TG. You guys up for some story time? Of course you are. This is just my experience with a freeform RP a while back, and I think it's about time I share it. It's been a long time, so sorry if some details are a bit hazy, but I remember the important bits. Behold, the Ballad of Edgardo. I get a hankering for some RP, so I cruise a couple of forums. Something catches my eye. Some kind of weird combination of stuff from Dragon Ball Z, Gurren Lagann, Avatar The Last Airbender, and a few other themes from different shows. Basically, Animu The Game. Honestly, it looks like kind of a cool setting after I've read through it. Superpowered dudes wander around, doing their own thing, having adventures, and trying to stop evil shadows from consuming the world. It looks cool, so I, uh, I sign up and start making a character. Characters had attributes. Strength, speed, the usual shit, traits or powers, chosen from a big list, and spirit, which you used for doing cool shit. You had a certain number of points to spend on attributes, so I maxed strength and put some into speed, endurance, and a couple in charm. I wanted to try a brawler type guy. I'll get to why that idea was a bad one later. I look at spirit rules before picking powers, because I want to do as much cool shit as possible. You spend spirit to activate powers. Different powers modified how spirit worked, and gave it an elemental alignment, which modified damage and other crap. Basically let you spend one point of spirit to get five points of fire damage. Neat. There was also raw spirit, which had no modifier, but also no elemental alignment, and couldn't be resisted. Less bang for your buck, but could be useful. Raw spirit could also be used to raise a stat temporarily, but the higher the stat, the more spirit you had to spend. Spirit had a cap depending on your attributes. At lower levels I was pretty low, like 10 or 20 if you got lucky. With my stat layout, I had 5. Awesome. I look through the powers list to see if I can unscrew my character. I browse through the list and it's pretty basic stuff. Throw fire, control shadows, frost breath, whatever. Also mundane powers like sword fighting and free running. I choose unarmed combat right off the bat because I want to punch people. Still a bad idea. I keep looking and I see something interesting tucked away in the list. Overflowing spirit. Pretty expensive points wise for a simple power but my eyes lit up at what it did. Removes the spirit cap plus some other crap which I glanced over at the time, but more on that in a bit. Oh fuck, now that is pretty abusable. I figure everyone else takes it, so I take it too. And then I take Battle Cry for a spirit buff and to blow the last of my power points. Character's pretty much done, so I name him Edgardo because it sounded cool at the time. Ready to go, Edgardo the Brawler sets out on his quest to do whatever. I start in the central town where everyone else hangs out. I introduce myself. I describe him as hot-blooded, hot-tempered, courageous, and always itching for adventure. Honestly, a pretty flat character, but whatever, I thought he was okay. I promptly get laughed at for making such a naive and low-brow character. Apparently, everyone has made brooding anti-heroes who sit in dark corners and don't really do much of anything. I swear, the tavern had to be some kind of eighth-dimensional shape because everyone was in their own fucking corner away from everyone else. But the last straw came from some asshole drinking his wine at the bar. Edgardo is such a stupid name anyway. Motherfucker. Edgardo did not walk in here to be mocked by a bunch of trench coat wearing pricks that are trying to be edgier than a goddamn razor blade factory. I take a swing and quickly discover that I am well and truly buttfucked. Apparently, unarmed combat was hosed from the start, as fists don't do shit against even the lightest armor, and don't get damage multipliers. Fantastic. I blow a spirit point, just to get past his armor, and do single digit damage. The fucker laughs and stands up. Care to try again, you pathetic wretch? I use battle cry. Can't think of anything, so I go with BANZAI, and use the rest of my spirit points. Nothing. He dodges, draws his sword, and gives an eye-rolling DISAPPEAR before he blasts me out of the tavern with sword, lightning, whatever the fuck. He spends one spirit for that, 
and I nearly get one shot, even with a good amount of endurance. Fucking what? So, while I'm bleeding out on the side of the road, I take the time to browse some other characters. First up is Sword Lightning Asshole. Basically the same level as me, but better in every way. Powers are better, higher spirit, good stats. More my fault, really, because I fucked up character creation. I browse more characters and notice something. No one has overflowing spirit. No one. I ask why. Well, it turns out that if you make a decent character, you have more than enough spirit to do whatever the fuck you want. Even the highest level characters only have a cap of about 100, and it's rare to get halfway down in a normal fight. And then there was the part I skipped over. Overflowing spirit prevented you from taking elemental powers. You were basically stuck using raw spirit, which was shit. Elemental spirit had damage modifiers so high that even if you resisted it, you still took a good amount of damage. Nito Burrito. Edgardo was basically useless against everything. Since I was so screwed, I PM'd the mod to see if I could make a new character that wasn't crippled beyond belief. Lol, deal with it. You made it, you play it. So, recap. Everyone's a pretentious fuckwad, the mods don't give a shit, and Edgardo is beyond worthless. Great start. I pick myself out of the dirt and limp away to get myself healed. Nope. I was broke, so I couldn't get shit. I'd have to sit my ass down and wait to heal naturally, which would take days. Fuck that. I'm already tired of this shit. So, I make an attempt to steal a potion. <laughs> no. Enter Militant Zero. Yes, that was his name. I cringed too. Omnipotent character number 4782 could do anything he wanted because he had been with the RP the longest. I also suspect that he sucked the admin's dick, but whatever. He teleports to me instantly, I can't do shit cause I'm basically dead on my feet, and then he lifts me into the air with magic psychic bullshit so I can't even run. He starts going on a long speech about crime and how evildoers should be punished and how he's the best and blah blah blah. Then, he gives me an ultimatum. Beg me for mercy, and I might just let you stay in this town. Otherwise, I'll throw you to the shadows. Fuck no. Edgardo does not beg. I struggle, swear, spit, and basically do everything I can to do anything to get out of this. Nope. I get thrown right through the roof of the building I was in, and soar all the way out into the wilderness. Well, I'm dead. Fortunately, newbies get one free revive. I cash mine in. Zero gets super fucking butt mad about it. Says I'm dead for good because he says so, and wah! I call him out on his bullshit, and immediately get shot down by everyone in the community. Suddenly, I'm the bad guy for trying to steal and picking a fight. Yeah, okay. Mods calm everyone down and say I'm alive with one health in the wilderness. Last bit of charity I'm getting, I won't even survive the night. But then, I met a guy called Squid. Beast folk were a thing, so people could have cat girls and wolfmen and shit like that. A guy called Squid was, well, part squid. Literally just a big muscly dude with a squid for a head. And yes, his full name was a guy called Squid, and he insisted that everyone called him that. Pretty cool dude, actually. He ran into the same troubles I did. He was a punchy guy like myself, but he punched people with fire. He helped me out, shared a potion, and was generally a bro. We both decided to stick together and train out here because we both needed to get a lot stronger before we headed back into town. It wasn't going to be nearly that easy. I got to nighttime, me and Squid set up camp in a cave. Suddenly, shadows, because mod bullshit and Zero whined enough that I was still alive. I was still pretty fucked up, but I could hold my own and Squid was in perfect shape. Still, we barely survived, mainly because Squid's fire damage was beastly. We both agreed that we wouldn't survive another fight like that, so we hightailed it out of there and back to town. Yeah, no, 
invisible force shield prevented us from going back in. I wasn't surprised. I looked on the map and found a nearby town to hole up. It'd take a couple of days to get there though, and we were both out of supplies. Well, neither of us saw any other way, so we got to walking. Edgardo and a guy called Squid. Just two guys on the road to adventure. Or the road to not dying horribly and somehow getting petty revenge, but whatever. Normally when people travel, there were random events that could either be good or bad for you. It was up to how much the mods liked you, really. The mods didn't like Squid or Edgardo. If we got something good, they'd find some way to take it away from us. We saved a lady from bandits on the first day. And by that I mean we kicked the bandits in the nuts, grabbed the lady, and ran like hell. That night, she prison shanked Squid, took what little shit we had gathered, and bailed. When I tried to chase her, she poofed. Gone. Nito Burrito. I really don't know why we kept going after that. It was obvious we were unwanted, so we really should have just quit. I think we were both waiting on the other one to give in first. I didn't want to admit defeat, and I knew Squid didn't want to either. We just had to press on, no matter what. Even when we met Sword Lightning Guy again. It had been a few days on the road, and we kept getting shit on. Wolves? Rain? Another shadow attack? I still don't know how we lived, but we scraped by. Either by running the fuck away, or through sheer luck and winning a fight. One more day of traveling, and we'd be at the village. We were so close that we could taste it. But then the dick from the tavern showed up, blocking the road. Never mind how he got ahead of us, he was, and we had to take it. Well, well, if it isn't the wretch from the tavern, and he picked himself up a side dish too. <laughs> Squid tells him to take a hike and let us through. Oh, but this is a toll road. You will have to pay me to pass. Let's say 1,000 gold. Fucking what? I tell him he's full of shit, and nobody has that much money. Oh, what a shame. Then you'll have to pay with your lives. He pulls his sword and blasts Squid, who somehow powers through it. This gives me a chance to get up close and... Well, we've established that I can do fuck all against this guy. I'm banged up pretty good and fists don't do shit. Only thing I have left is spirit. A metric ass ton of spirit. See, as we were traveling, I was hoarding points. Well, not intentionally. I gained some every day like everyone else, and every time Squid and I killed something, we got a little bit more. Squid was spending his spirit left and right. I wasn't. And since I had overflowing spirit, I had a lot more points than I had any right to have at my level. Even if raw spirit was crap, a lot of crap could still wreck someone's day. Edgardo had a chance. A slim chance, but it was better than nothing. Banzai! Battle cry, use all of that spirit and crouch for an uppercut. Sword guy doesn't even give a shit. He actually laughs in my face and doesn't even make an attempt to dodge. You're kidding, right? We've been through this. You can't hurt me. <laughs> You're the only one laughing, asshole. My fist connects with his chin, and so does all of that raw spirit. It didn't do nearly as much damage as an elemental attack would, but it was still enough to knock him on his ass. Which gave Squid the perfect setup. He jumped on Sword Gaia and blew all of his spirit too. Where there had once been a face, there was now a smoking crater. Sword Guy died, and to two underdogs to boot. Predictably, he pitched a bitch fit, and so did the rest of the players. We were murderers and outlaws and generally horrible, horrible people for deciding not to deal with this bullshit anymore. Me and Squid, we didn't give a single fuck. We had earned our first actual victory. Sure, we were nearly dead, defenseless, and still had to make it to the village, but we won. Things were looking up, at least for a little while. We still had to worry about Ciro and his crap. Ciro was some kind of king or tyrant overlord or whatever, and this village was still in his little authority zone. So when we finally arrive at the village, guess what special surprise is waiting for us? If you guessed invisible immune to everything force shield, congratulations, give yourself a gold star. And for good measure, he teleports in and taunts us, saying he'll follow us until we're broken and mad and shut the fuck up already. He cackles and ports away. Squid falls to his knees. 
He's had enough. We came all this way, all for nothing. Sure, we beat someone, but he'd be rezzed and in perfect health the next day. So what do we do now? Squid was ready to quit. Edgardo wouldn't have it. We train, Squid. We train. <laughs>